We will learn today how to weld thin metal successfully every time. And I am welding here a rectangle tube with a thickness of 1.2 mm or 45,000 of an inch. Hi guys, the first thing we need is the electrode. And to weld with more success, I will use 6013 electrode. Because it is designed to weld thin metal and it is easy to ignite and it has low penetration. Please don't use 7018 with this method. This electrode is great, but with thin steel it will blow a hole through it fast. And it is hard to ignite, which is the most important reason we are using 6013. I will use 2.4 mm electrode instead of 3.2 because I can run it at low amperage and I don't use any lower thickness. The reason for this is that I consume much more electrodes to do the same work and have the same results. If you have DC welder, flip the electrode holder and the ground. Put the holder on the negative pole. This will concentrate most of the welding machine power on the electrode instead of the workpiece. Switching the polarity does not affect the welder. And if you have an AC welder, don't worry about it. It is not the most important thing. And if you want to understand the difference between AC and DC stick welders, I have a video explaining that. This machine can weld up to 280 amps. And the electrode can weld well from 60 to 100 amps. I will use it at 70 amps. If I change it, I will tell you. And to who has this knob on their welders, because it is not on all of them, Dial it back as low as you can. It is for the arc force and we don't need it here. And if you want to make welding easier on yourself, please get this auto darkening helmet. You can see through it and when you start welding it darkens to protect you. And every man who tried welding knows the pain of eye burns that keeps you awake all night asking why I am learning to weld. And most men won't try it again. I will weld these two pieces that I cut at 45 degrees with a thickness of 1.2 mm. I am welding and stopping and do that until the end of the weld. The reason for that is to let the piece cool down a bit because if I try to weld continuous weld here I will put more heat on the piece, more than it can handle and it will melt making hole in it. And if you want to make it look better, you can weld over it. Because it became now thicker, and I'm using 7018 at 94 amps. I am using my spare trusted firefighting gloves from my work. To hold the workpiece in this position. It is the easiest position to weld in. When welding in this position, weld the same way as before, from up to down. I am welding the other side. Look at the weld pool before it cools down and the color changes from red to black. I ignite the arc and weld again. And if it cools in mid weld, stop and clean the slag. And continue to prevent the slag, that black stuff, from getting trapped in the weld bead. I 
I will wield now in this position. And I increased the amperage to 80 because I found in the past that it is a bit hard to wield successfully in this position with the low amperage. Let's weld these two pieces with a continuous weld, but first, let's stack them. To weld like this successfully, we have to concentrate the arc on the thicker edge. While I'm welding, I will lean a bit this way to put more heat on the thicker side. Come closer and wear your helmet. I am shifting from the thicker side to the thinner one, just for moments and I come back to move forward a bit and do it again. And from this side, don't forget to move fast. When I tried to weld here at 70 amps, I wasn't in the right position. I got some slag trapped in the weld. If this happened to you, stop and clean the area and try again. These things happen, but learn to correct them the right way. Now we will learn how to correct when we burn a hole while we are welding. Be sure if you are welding thin steel, sooner or later this will happen. Start from one side and advance. I am trying here to make this side thicker so I can weld from it. Don't forget to clean if the area gets cold, or you will trap the slag inside the weld bead. When it became thicker to handle the heat of the weld, I continue. At the end, I increased the welding amperage to 80 for better penetration.
and after grinding you see the results. I close the hole.